We're going to call our meeting to order. Let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. We insist to go this over. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, with the people of the public and for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the means of righteousness and all. Honor protect the flag of the flag of the need to exit. One more thing. One, and that's it. Okay. Heavenly Father, we just uh, come here again tonight, Lord, just to give you thanks, Father. Thank you so much for this great country you live in, Father, and that we were able to, to say pledge allegiance to these flags, Father, for what they stand for. And they stand for one nation under God. Father, tonight, we give this meeting to you, and we just pray that you would just guide us and direct us, and this would be about your works and your business, Father. We thank you for all your love, all your mercy, and all your grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Any conflict of interest states might be fair. Any no conflict of interest? Um, uh, any citizens' comments? Uh, on. Let's go ahead and do the presentation by uh, Carlson and more Jeff. I'll bring you guys out. Okay. Hi, I'm Carson Alexander. Nice to meet you guys. I, uh, I'm working with the group that's under contract to purchase the Votros property, um, not the restaurant, but the, the, the mobile home park behind there. And um, we've been working with Don at Fitz and Shipman um, to help put us put a plan together that we're looking to really just not reinvent the wheel on this. We're just trying to look to add new spaces across the street, what's there already. And, um, you know, what we're doing, looking for today really is just a some sort of sign of support from you guys. So, you know, we feel good about moving forward and spending more money with you guys to get a real plan together and send it over to you for, you know, final approval here. Um, right now there's about 40 sites on, on site and we're looking to add about 30 to 32 is what our rough estimates are, are showing right now. And I don't know if you guys have a copy of this. You do. Um, but really that's what we're trying to do. Um, we'd like the city to, uh install meters for us and uh, we'd love to work with you guys to start getting that estimate and get those bids going so you know make sure it work makes sense for us well we have gone through it miss ma'am you see the limitations of how many trailers per acre that you can actually put in there with all the six yes because i mean some of the trailers that were in there are probably going to have to be there's going to be corrections that need to be made sure you know, with between the, the trailers and the foundations and things like that too. sure Sure. I, mean, I personally, I don't have an issue. You guys doing it? Um, the first thing we're going to need from you is a site study. Okay. So make sure that we can handle what you guys are. Okay. But also, too, um, I don't know if you guys have any questions for him. Well, what's the question? Yeah, it's kind of new to me. So, well, some of this is your knowledge and information, but uh, my understanding is some of the standards down there in the grandfathered in. Yes, sir. And, uh, don't really need our ordinances, so any new developments we expect them to all be brought up to the fire code our ordinances and whatever the, the other thoughts on. Okay, and, and I would expect some kind of uh, engineering capacity study on our utilities to determine whether uh, our existing facilities can handle. Sure, let's talk about because you got you're talking about a total of 50 down there. I didn't know where exactly because they're not quite 10 or 12 down there now. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at adding the 40 to Clark. Yes, sir. It's a good connection. So. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we're happy to work with that and you know get those studies done with, you know, and step with these and guys. All those expenses will be, up, will be on you. Yes, sir. We understand that. Yeah. So what would be this, you know, I, as far as proceeding at this point, mm -hmm. I, I don't have any objective as long as we meet the most codes. Sure. As long, no. And it's not going to, I mean, there, there's benefit to us, obviously, if it's a well, that will water it coming in, maybe citizens can benefit from that as well. But, uh, mm -hmm. so, 
Also, the kicker or strike or so the goods and papers are coughed down the road a long time ago. Absolutely. And we, we understand that. And, you know, what, you know, that's really what we're coming out here today for is just to make sure that, you know, there's, you know, you guys are okay with us moving forward under this general concept. Granted that it fits within your, your ordinances that you put together. If you ask my opinion, I'd rather you buy a land bill 15 by branches in there. Yeah. That's a trade point. Uh -huh. Yes. Basically, we're always on the site. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to do that, but we'll have probably an on site manager that will live here. And also, too, if this all comes about and there's meeting of the minds, so to speak, sure. Sabrina will be your main contact and myself. Correct. So that way, you've got direct communication with the city. Mm -hmm. So if there's any questions or anything that needs to be addressed, we can address it. Sure. Can you ask one question about looking at your map here? Sure. How do you access 22 through 31? Uh, 2231, that's just a pull in. It's just like uh, if you see the, the homes on the other side of the street there, they'll be just drive in just like those. Well, you would have to fill it up. Uh, so, so they'll be accessing all the street here? Is that... uh, no, this is uh, this is the uh, right behind Votros. So, too, it does state about accessing the trailer park from a major uh, thoroughfare through a private drive. Okay. Not be something that we be able to do the way it's laid out right now. Okay. So you may have to do something with the Darby's. Okay. Store. Okay. Okay. We will. But, but this is requiring to build the other. There, there's a little bit of a, yes, sir. There's a ring road between one through twenty-one. It kind of backs up between four and twenty, sir. Okay. My only concern. Looking at this, is is something was to happen mm -hmm. at the we'll call it the front end would be basically the south side and they, next to Potro's mm -hmm. restaurant. Yes, sir. Something happens in there, and that roadway can't pass in the once it's in the back, it can't get out. And the, that's why the ordinance basically specifies about using that particular road. We're going to need a secondary road. Oh, is that, yeah. No, it's so good. I didn't see it in there. I didn't see it. <laughs> it's actually it is on page eight. Access to public road. I think that's exactly what you were talking about. So you know, one of five is basically going to have a public access. That's not a dedicated street. And that's not a dedicated street as it sits right now. From my understanding, I mean, our city attorney might be able to specify on that a little bit. So are y'all talking about the one that's between are you talking about between Dill Barney and Lotros? That's actually a private room. So that's not considered public access. It, it well, that's all the way They may have to fix that. That's the only thing. All right. Are y'all looking at that in the Uh we haven't thought about that, but you know, we, our assumption was just always that, you know, with the with the city yes. city meters there, we just thought that was a public. Public road. Right. It's a private road. Okay. Well, it's something we're going to have to address. Yeah, it's page eight H in the hearing. Okay. With uh, with your intent to be uh, uh, purchase your own trailers or is it all rentals? Uh, well, th well, there'll be people that we prefer almost exclusively in our other parks that people own their own. Homes. We we do not like being landlords of, you know. Yeah. That's another so, thing the ordinance you may want to look at. They're required to keep records of who's there so you can actually go and access those records. They don't get it. Okay. So even though you're saying it's going to be individually owned homes, they won't look at that. Yeah. Sure. So I mean, there's, there's a lot of rooms to actually look at very closely. Okay. You only have a two inch water line going in there to feed all of the trailers right now. Is it's it two inch? It's two inch. Two okay. inch. That's not between my any kind of fire protection in your back. Okay. All the way to the back. So that water line goes in there. There's a six inch run down Sweet Gum. Okay. I mean, down 105. Uh -huh. That's probably going to have to be upgraded in order to be able to support a fire. I mean, it'd be good if you could support a fire hydrant. Okay. Because right there isn't. Okay. And then we've got these guys going out there doing surveys right now, looking at all that, of course. Yeah. So we'll know that soon. 
Oh, bottom line is you got to make we can requirements cover. Okay. So as long as we meet the requirements, you guys. The bottom line is that we we are in favor of doing what you want to do. Okay. And I'm speaking to me. I mean, I don't know what do y'all. No, I'm definitely in favor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we're in three. Okay. Yeah, it's just stuff. And, you know, sure. You're going to have hell of a fishing mission. So. Yep. That's, they're they're the experts right there. That's what engineers are for. <laughs> Well, are you satisfied with that answer? I'm okay. Yeah. That's it. How soon do you think you can get more study to this? Sixty days. Yeah, we're doing surveying right now, so I would say yeah, forty to sixty days minimum or max. At eleven acres total. Yes, sir. We're buying there's a there's a separate part. If you go down the road right there, there's an old kind of barn that's kind of run down or that we're including we have to have that piece in order for this to make the work. So it's the everything Votro zone except for the restaurant is uh what we're buying. So, into there, which is the private road, you would always have access to that. We're gonna have an easement, yes, sir. We're talking about that today, make sure that restaurant and that would be included in it, then you'd be in a type we, we have we haven't once we know we we're gonna move forward with this deal then we'll start papering all the all the easements make sure we have access to it all that's buttoned up so we haven't got the lawyers involved yet but we don't have, we will down the road they would be able to get an easement by necessity there we have to that would yeah that would not be that that, that will that has to happen yeah, yeah, we're not too worried about it. Yeah, Ms. Motro will get to us. And so, I guess right now I'm going to move the table. Is well, I mean, there's no voting on this, it's just basically a presentation. She speaks to the council. See, look, what can you get from us? It says consideration, discussion, and approval of development of private law. To me, that sounds like a vote. Yeah. I'm going to make a motion that we table it until we get the information back from you, sure. and then, then, then we can do what we need. I second. All of them favor. So, that allow you to proceed? I'm sorry? Will that allow you to proceed? Yeah, we'll start working on it. We're, we're just making sure nobody's hostile to the whole idea. Is really what we're looking for. So there's not somebody that's going to... Completely shut us down. I don't think we can approve it. Sure. We don't know what you need. Sure. Exactly. Yes. So we approve you moving forward. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, we'll bring it back to the agenda on December. Okay. October. We're going to swear in the people in this company and everything. Just swear in the people. Yeah. I mean, you can't put that on the agenda. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you know, oh, they're here. Right? We have the information available for us in November. Oh, we should so, yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's put it up. Yeah. And you guys have looked, looked this over and there were no red flags in it for y'all. Respectfully. Right, right now, we, we've done a lot of these and we like them. We like this deal and we like the market and like, you know, like the upside of this. And that's what we've been working on for a couple of months now. Okay. That's what. You're happy I'll take a picture. All right. So all of the time are All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You're going to have both those are out of change All right. <laughs> well, thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right. Bring you guys. Thank you, man. Look, you. For the consent items, your financial for the city and the public house. Was it there? Did I Any questions on the financials? Yes. Only if you feel the end back. Oh, you didn't get to that part yet. Okay. Are they refining the situations? All right, now the utility innovation, do you have questions, bud? Yes. Uh, on, the, on the spreadsheet that Sabrina makes, okay, um, the total of the $9,392 that we're paying on this month, some of that is recoverable from TAP. It's not very much, but it's, it's, it's $14, it's $2,500. Okay. 
So that changes that number there. But it also doesn't include the $3,300 that we pay to uh, relocate that line over on Riverbend that broke. Uh, I mean, when we approve this, what I'm trying to say is that we're also approving these other invoices that have come in. So they're turning in other invoices that, that are not on this approval sheet that here in front of which we will approve next month. Uh, following my pay, we'll do the That's not, no, that's the. It's not for the game. That's for the one. That's why that. This is no, it won't be on next month. That's what I went at. That's all that is. That 3300 of which was in sight. It's only been paid by two people. I'm just telling you, two people signing that check. Okay. This didn't. This, this is not on this monthly thing that everybody's approving. I just want to point that out. So it's not just starting three hundred. Yeah, the trade this month. That's right, but it's not even. Nobody knows that. If you didn't get a copy of that, you'd never know the trick. It's not even. No, I don't mean, it is. I mean, that's what I'm going to call it. You know, we're basically going to follow with free demand. The stuff we're looking at right now is August. It's changed a lot. So they um, they did this work as well, but it's not part of their monthly report. That's why it's not. These are not well, these extra invoices that they turn in are not part of their regular stuff that they do. It doesn't show up on their sheet. It's not going to show up in the past. It's not going to show up next month. Because I thought it would show up next month. Well, it's on but these extra invoices <laughs> don't see them. Uh, uh, so so let's make an amendment. Let's make a motion right now to make an amendment to their sheet that when they have special invoices, we need to get signed right on that sheet for the month. Yeah, they don't know. Nobody never know questions in the future. I mean, they that should be on that sheet, and it should be as a separate item, not a normal monthly expense, but an emergency expense. I mean, it's a work order, 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 order. order. and uh, just put it on there. Look, what, 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 I'm, I'm still confused as to what we're even discussing. Because it's a thirty-three hundred dollar expense that's not showing up on here. It wasn't on this one. Uh, oh, we're, we're, we're saying that the the the, the T. Johnson invoices don't show up on. But the T. Johnson is not a part of the utility innovations. Yeah, that's the uh, business. Yeah, yes, yes. But it shows. Yeah, I, but it showed up on that report already. What we showed right. for, for the whole year. But it's, it's already been paid. It's not something that's required to be in the monthly reports for utility innovations. Yes. T. Johnson's never been part of this report ever. Okay, but I'm just, I mean, this was a lot of money. money. Sorry, right. 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 But that's going to be part of your financials. They're, they're also the one that's going to be in your financials. We go back, you were just doing for us to be next. It'll be next. Next month's financial. Okay. So you go on to that invoice and then look at the financials to make sure the work that is there. Yes. Okay. Okay. If you're, if you're bringing it to the attention of the city council, making it sound like she didn't put it on this report somehow because it's not part of utility innovation. We it's a separate company. We have it. But we're anyway. approving this through them. This this went this, they're part of they're part of utility innovation. Two separate companies. Two separate companies. It's the same people that go out and change the new tab. They went over there and did that one. Thank you. Okay. Two separate entities. Okay, so then so we need to be able to approve these things that I mean that T. Johnson does out of the Well, because it's an expense. But that's what the financials are for. That's why you need to do financials every month. Well, then we'll just have to get off the I mean, but have you had a chance to look at the financials to see where T. Johnson's is actually it's not in here? Yeah, I looked. I tell you, it's it's there's been two bills to T. Johnson this year. Exactly. That one, one from the floor, and it's in here. I had not looked at that, so I can't tell you. But yeah. it, just, I had a printout of everything that we have paid innovation in T. Johnson yeah. to look at. Because I mean, the fiscal year from 2023, and both of those are only. You know, yeah. this is only my truck. And, yeah. It was, it was, it didn't pay to show up in this month's what, September. We'll show up in September. It was a pay by September. It was a pay by last year. Okay. 
All right, so I have a motion to approve the financials for the line Thank you. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, let's look at the financial reports for public works for July and August. Any discussion? No, I'm not making the mission to it, so. Got a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. We just went over before we did till any innovations. We have any other questions on currently innovations? Okay. If not, then a motion to approve these. Okay, that's you tell this back. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm making a motion. No, no. Got a second? Second. All in favor? All in favor. have a motion to approve the previous minutes. 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 Yeah. Come back to one. I second. All in favor? Aye. All right, we're going to move to number nine to review <clears throat> and approve action items. We have a bid for the temporary office facility. Do we have any discussion on the temporary office building? We have one high bid, and that's just from his temporary office. Yeah. Um, it looks like one good. Bid. Let me ask you this great question here. Have we got everything right on this? We've gone out, gone out to be in the change. We did it, we posted it, advertised it to our local people as well as the examiner in the two weeks. That's right. I saw, I was able to see the, um, so we made it a public request for proposals, request for bids. And then I saw the affidavit. I saw the public. I mean, I'm really going to make sure that it literally actually was published. And then they confirmed through an affidavit. So the biggest concern is that we can reconstruct this when we close the project out for FEMA to prove that we did, which we did. So we did. So we had the documents necessary to prove to FEMA. So when they close it out, we'll we'll take 90% of this money plus the other. End. And get and pay off the So we're we're good to go. Bunch of procedures. Oh yeah, yeah. Good. The action is submission. Yeah, we two made the so we did. And the fact that we got more than two bits is great. And so we got three. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, I do have one question, Sabrina. You may be able to answer this for me. Um, remember whenever we discussed um, talking with them about them accepting the bid of I think it's fifty one thousand was the high bid. Mm -hmm. Um. Are they okay with that? Thing? In other words, was that a selling price that they're comfortable with? It, it, as long as we can demonstrate a reasonable market that it was a reasonable market value, and getting getting multiple bids from independent companies is a reflection of reasonable market value, so they will accept it as long as we can show our work, which we can. They don't care about. It. Okay. Really? Yeah, right. Uh, so what's the consequences of them saying, I didn't know that you do it? We would, they paid $80,000. In theory, we'd have to pay the $80,000. Right? That's, you're asking the worst case consequences. We would be on the hook for everything. But that was definitely not a concern to the FEMA officials that were there. They just wanted us to have their Okay, so commercially reasonable amount. So my follow-up question is: There's no timing restriction once we accept this bid tonight. As soon as we do, they move in here tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 The timing restriction will be the opposite. FEMA knows we're doing this, and they've been asking us almost every month whether it's been done yet. So okay, they would care if we extended it too long, which we didn't. But if they did it really quickly, that's better. That's best case. There's no limit on how quickly we. So, okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I was going to keep sure. Once we accept it, it's it's done. I want to make a motion that we accept that pitch one down and all. That's all straight. Right on. Oh, we're still discussing it. And we're still discussing it. Okay. So, is there is there anything that the female? Could come back to us and say that we did not get enough money for it, so, and then we would have to agree. That was not, you hear what you're saying? That is not, a, they're not in the mobile home evaluation business. 
they care about the process achieved to they, they care about how we did it. We did it appropriately. Okay. So just to clarify too, from what I understood about this whole thing, that whatever money that we get out of it goes back to payment, correct? 90% minus cost. Not for expenses, but you know, modest expenses. Yeah. So 90% of it comes, will go back to you know, Drew, do we need to read the dollar amounts of who did it? Or does it doesn't really matter at this point. So we do have one like that is making it sad. Well, I would recognize for the record that you're taking the highest bid. <laughs> All we said was the 51. I would just make perhaps read the other ones. Yeah, the, the only difference it's record, but it's probably good to know. The only yeah. difference I saw in bids is the cap go over the high bid included in the state uh, what it, they were bidding on the pole and the skirting, uh, which is trying to be more bad with the, the electrical pole, but the fourth pole out there. And nobody else said that. We didn't even think about that. So that's probably a young plus, I guess, really. But they're still 10 grand ahead in the second bid, though. Uh, you know, they're 10,000 ahead of them. Oh, yeah. Year. yeah. Just laying the stairs. Yeah, that's all. Go ahead and help All right, let me go ahead and just, um, you mentioned for the record, a huge report. Uh, Punch of bid $30,000 on a mobile home, East Texas Home Center. They did 40, and then Canto has a high bidder bid 51,000. We have a motion to accept Canto's bid. I I know can't say it. All right. Hey, Rose. No, she made us have a bid. You know, we're going to Sorry about that. No. We're still learning. All right, so we did that. Um, we're going to move on to consideration, discussion, and approval of the 2023 tax credit, which we had the public hearing at the very beginning of this meeting. We're adopting no new tax for revenue. Do we have any discussion? Motion. Right. motion. A second. Okay. All in favor? All right. Nice have it. All right, consideration, discussion, and approval for the 20. 23-2024 general operating budget. About two weeks ago, we had um, a meeting for the general and the public works budget. Any discussion? Motion and a second. Second. All in favor? Uh, absolutely. So, uh, what is saying? And we're going to do the consideration to schedule and approval of the public works. In this session, we have a vote. All in favor? Second. Second. All in favor? And yes, said Melissa's saying it's not a meeting. All right, consideration, discussion, and approval for the day to day operations of the city office. We want to table nine. <laughs> 9F, we're going to jump up and send Jay out of order. We have a city council member that needs to leave early. So, consideration discussion on the timeline to go out to bear the bottom water smooth contract. Do you have any discussion? Um, I just want to say that, you know, I'll talk to part from it. Works for transfer parts out here, and they do uh, routinely go out for bid. They have lots and lots and lots of good stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. just to cover them, they go out for bid, even though you're not. It's not. It's not like you're going out for bid and then fire. It's like everybody can bid on anybody for bid. Okay, and it's just we haven't gone out for bid. I think. I think that. Uh, uh, the mayor brought up to me that we're required by law to go out and bid uh, yearly on contracts. All contracts. On all. Okay. So we got to start somewhere. This is a way of doing it. So it's one by the way. I would like to make a motion to kind of modify this a little bit. Okay. 
saying that we're going to go out and say we, we need to develop the bid package first. Mm -hmm. Then okay. we'll table this until the next month until you guys come up with a plan to modify this. Because right now the way it's worded is to put it out with it. It's too broad. We're not ready for that. Well, okay, so, so do we have our technical? I made a motion and there's another motion. So you have to hear Doug's motion first. Now you have to hear Doug's motion. See if you want second. Then go back to the east. Which <laughs> made so just FYI. Do we have a motion to table J until we have a better like what we're going to be to be safe? One second. Okay. Let's go and discuss it over here for the sky. Okay. We're gonna wait another month to go out to do something which we can go ahead and move forward with a like Doug said, we can go ahead and move forward with a scope of work which isn't gonna take that long. Okay, to do that. Um, okay. Then we're basically a lot of the agenda at this point because right now it says going out for bid. We can't have for bid. Because yeah. part of it's going to be part of going out for bid is going to be is going to be a scope of work. That's part of going out for bid. Then that should be on, on the agenda. You can't change the agenda to something different. It has to be modified next month. Okay. See, so you're you changing the, the semantics of this whole thing. You're saying you're going to go out for bid, but you're not going to go out for bid. It is backtracking. It's so, so, so can we do it like this? Can we table this? And then with the understanding we're going to develop a bid package. Yes, that you can do. That's it. That yeah. with our uh, work. I don't even. Yeah, you know. I don't even think that's necessary at this point. I don't think we've got enough information. And it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up to a couple of weeks of the conversation that we've had. Uh, the existing uh, operator and maintenance contract of the water operation has been here since 2016. They haven't changed their rates. We spend, once you reduce the amount of capital invoice, this fiscal year, we spent a little over $80,000 with them. That's all the invoice we paid them, including the one we paid to the products. Well, actually, I took, took those out for dust down the last conversation. I took it out. You can add the 27 in, make it 107 if you want to. But that was our decision to do that capital project. That was, and that's a real maintenance operation. For since the flood, nobody on this council. To provided any guidance, direction, leadership, or even communication with our contract. And we had a couple of problems, and uh, they were at fault. They ponied up their mistake. They made steps to break it. It's taken a little bit of time to get there. I volunteered to take the lead on coordinating the water and sewer plant operation, provided that I am giving the lead to that, and the people that are agreed to it. And uh, my, my, I, did, huh? I didn't agree. Okay, but I didn't agree. But everybody else, my dog was from here, everybody else here did. And I, I assumed that responsibility yesterday. And at the first meeting with them yesterday, we had a very good meeting. It was not at all pleasant because there were some things I, I expected, some accountability issues. I expected to come in, but I didn't see how to this room. I got a good response. Uh, this field office will be doing weekly meetings with them until they, that frequency is determined whether it needs to be more or less or whatever it is. And um, the spring and I will be leading maybe the mayor in there she chooses with the owner operator to write the single planning team of the, of the company. So my request is not to spend the money to do the audit, to do the scope. Uh, until we've had time to see what this operation is. Quite frankly, this operation is pretty cheap. The if you go back and look at the results, we've had no NOB since they've taken over. Um, very few even letters from TCEQ, <clears throat> which are more like slaps. Um, one of the problems since I've been on the council that I noticed was 
we had issues with high chlorine. We got to looking at found the problem with the actual with the process. We discussed that one of the that has been completed. Um, the check actually changed in the process chlorine injection system should eliminate that and um, those things are making progress. Now they didn't get off to a good start. They made some they made some mistakes, but they probably won't end up in recording. And one of the things well, just let me just bring the issue back up. We found, and, and Bud, Bud was one of the lead defenders, excuse me, found this. We had a pump that was running backwards. Two years. No. January the 14th, 2020. That's three and a half years. So we found, we confirmed that yesterday. Uh, so we know it, we know it run on two pumps. Uh, we had a couple of issues with parts on the booster pump. We got that resolved. We, we're expecting we have to have an online spare at all times from that, although we can't maintain a normal operation. I how I'm showing mechanical stuff out there. But anyway, the point is that I, I tear to get in this, and my expectation is I'm given time to work this out. And I'll be the first one to tell you if they're not performing. I'll be looking for somebody to and uh, Doug is uh, Doug Mullins has agreed to kind of be my backup until he uh, his term is up and then once Lonnie and and, and Timido are on the excuse me Jeff I mean, Jeff are on the are on the council or reshuffle right so, so that's just my opinion I, I am against doing anything Rebid this contract for at least another six, eight months. I'm not against re I'm not against bidding the contract, but it is going to be it is going to be some expense involved, and uh, I just don't see a need for it until we know whether this this contractor can be the providers that we need. And uh, my, re my response from them when I went down and said this ain't right, I got a good response. So that's for what it's worth. All right, so could we make a motion to actually approve to have this tabled at this day? <clears throat> yeah. I, I don't know what motion we got on that now. Basically, to have it tabled. Done, and I, that, that, that wouldn't be fair. I would say let's table it. I, would like, I didn't know about this. Yeah. I was like, let him be able to do his research and be able to deal with them. In the meantime, what I want to ask him to do is. Do as much, make those as much stuff as what they're doing, and let's look back and let's see what they should be doing. If they're doing everything they should be doing according to TCQ, then, then we're doing good. But if they're not, we need to make sure that we get that spelled out. So in the six months or whatever it is, we get ready to start developing the scope, which has never been done. We need to have to be able to lay that out. Yeah, I don't just look at that. I, 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 you know, I've got an idea of what some of the TCU requirements are. I, I, I have discussions with them that they uh, they understand what the requirements are pretty well. So we have a move to actually table this. I have a question. So what are the requirements for going out for be in in respect to an expense? What are you, what are you look what are we looking at here today <laughs> as far as money goes to actually go out for bids? How much money would we have to spend to do that? Does anybody know? As far as whether that, that's a different expense. The expense is the value of the contract. I believe the contract being that the contract is renewed, that isn't that going to be an expense if we send this out to bid? So it's going to be the value of the contract. It depends, the, it, it depends on the it depends on the if you just want proposals with no, if you just want to hear proposals with no indication that it'll be accepted, then there may not be any any other uh, increases to the current contract, which is its own. If you're talking about expense, if you're talking about how much it costs. That's what I'm talking. To send it out. There's a number of different forums where you would send it out, and the costs are. All it depends on which form you're going to do. There are some free ones, there's some paid ones. 
it depends on how wide and then into what forms you're advertising to. So let's just say uh, top of the line. What can we look to spend on something like that? Well, well, I mean, it's okay. So it, it's hard to say because, um, like, for example, how much are you involving? Are you going to hire? That's that's a hard. That's a difficult. One. Are you going to hire someone to formulate? The reason I made that comment is because what Jim said, he said we really don't want to go out for the expense, and I get that. I'm all about saving the city money, but at the same time, if this is a minimal investment to just know so that if Jim turns up down the road and finds out they're substandard, we're already way ahead of the game because we have a plan B, whatever that may be. I'm not saying, but oh, why don't you tell me innovation at all? The only part of that discussion, Greg, is this. If you go out with a bid that says we're not going to award this bid right now, we're just going out for numbers, how many legitimate companies are you going to get to bid? The other thing you have to worry about is if we do go out for the bid and the new company or the company that we have now to read this, we may end up paying more money than what we're paying right now. Just yes. a valid point. The sooner we solve the war, I think that it's a valid point to go ahead and let's let Jim work with the current company. Let's see if we go out. Oh, the rebound <laughs> can cost us more money. Cost us more money. So, you know, let's. Let's work with the people you have right now. It's like, what, how long have you been since they raised rates? You said, Jim? Six years. 2016. Still working on 2016 rates. Right? Pretty incredible at this time. Okay. How much? How many expenses we can pass on to the citizens? Those things are like they're good. Right. But that expenses. Okay. Their rate is $2,350 a month. Okay. That's a $26,000, $7,000 a year. Okay. But the actual call, which you're not hearing, I hear it, and nobody's I mean, is the actual cost to us for them to do the work out here was by the bookkeeper $130,000. Now, some of that, some of that was reduced just a bit because we did a foreign project that took take that $30,000 out of it because that was a project. Okay, all I'm saying is you can bid a dollar on the contract out here. And, and make it up on the back end. That's what I'm saying. And that's, and Jim makes so, that. So anybody else that we get to do it, mm -hmm. gonna do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So face bid and they can fuck face mm -hmm. Okay. Now so so there's no guarantee that even if you get a low bid, right? Mm -hmm. That it's gonna be a hundred thousand a year. We're not we know we have made it that Okay. But so Jim just made the statement. I, I know what Jim did. You're, you're trying to make a point to start even about it. This is a very valid point. No, it's not. Because it's going to. Yeah, maybe. Let's get back on the track, guys. Come on, we're very. Okay. Jim said. Can I get a motion to vote? So, 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 why are you so sad? You're not going to let him talk? Be not. He's already talking. You're talking. I have to talk. You guys can tone it down. I don't sit down. Jerry said that if he finds out that they're substandard, okay, that he's going to get rid of, and I'm going to use this word that he said, immediate, okay? So if we don't go out for bid, how is Jim going to get, how would Jim get rid of the uncle Bring it back, little guys. Not if you find something like this, then you can, they're not doing their job. I mean, if they're not doing their job, I mean, somebody works for me and they don't do their job. Let's well, see, here, here's the thing, anyway, but yeah, nowhere in here did you contact anybody from that company and tell them this ain't right. I don't have to go there. Yesterday, I did. And let's see what happens down here. We had a, we we had a pump drop. They had it at 200, basically 200 gallons a minute. It's a 90 GPM pump. The mayor went down there with me. We timed it on the on the thing. It was making 90 or 92. Okay. Brought it to their attention. It went from 197 gallons a minute down to 102.99. Okay. So they weren't reading this. Okay. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And then when we bring it to their attention, oh, we need to read that. Well, I mean, you're supposed to be reading it. You told us you were going to read it to start with. They're but, the ones that make this correct. When was the last time that you went down and took a picture of that? Uh, the it's day you asked me to when y'all were in the meeting. That was yesterday. When you were in the meeting. So that actually happened after June, after <clears throat> by no. himself. 
That's why I say that it was a deal. You, you can only start on the 20th. That's that's one of the last series. If it's not, it's so it's more than All right. It's not a it's not a major expense to the city, okay, to go out for bid. It doesn't mean that we're terminating the company, but we would have some ideas, general ideas of how much it's going to cost us to get another company in here to go to work. There are companies out there that can go to work tomorrow. We'll take it on the way. Well, we've already got the bid. Who do you recommend? Anybody that did something. I mean, do you have somebody in mind? Barbara Emmons. Yeah. Barbara Emmons told me that she knew that utility innovation should be that. And then, mm -hmm. I mean, that that uh, Joy Peel company can do that. Peel Enterprise. Okay, they do Sour Lake, they do Pinewood, they do Northwest Forest, they do. Uh, What's a little one on the other side of the country? Country They do those. They're out here. They're in there. Well, which I sure is. I mean, so yeah, maybe they're treating on the Well, they're $12,000 a year. They're $12,000 on the front. Right. On the base. So then we have all that other stuff they can charge for on top of $12,000. And they're starting out. Which are a lot of things on there, Ben. That, that he's going to tell me they will be here at every meeting. How about if we do a workshop? That doesn't help me. Well, uh, well, let's let's go go ahead. Ahead. Let's, 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 the mayor wanted to go out for bid on every contract. Right. What, what is this? What's what? evil? This is not, we're not bidding to put it out for vote or anything like that. We're bidding. Uh, are we voting the original? We're voting to table it pending Ten what does. Right? Jim Wright's review. I'm sorry. We're going to table this issue until you get your with 30 days, 60 days to review this. 30 days is not about six months. Six months? That's okay. much. Let's okay. table it for six months. We'll come back and we'll discuss it at that time. Okay. This is what we decided. Have a vote? Yes, I'm making a motion. Got a motion? Got a second? Second. All in favor? All right. Uh, what are we working on? What are we taking for six months? Let Jim want six months. Yep. We're taking one six months. You know what? Uh, you can make time. You know somebody that does loads operation. They want to do what Keel did. Give us a piece of paper or bid like that. That way, when we see if we do go out this bid, we've got it. Well, a hunch is that everybody's going to go up when we bid. You're still going to have to go out for bid. No matter whether you have one for key or not. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not disputing that. I know you have the the, the the fact that when you do, you're going to go out. But if you, if you think about the real world, considering that the twenty-seven thousand dollars we we made the upgrade on, which to me is worth it, and made it could have gotten better. But we still, uh, you take that off, you look at your numbers are hundred three, my numbers are eighty eighty thousand. Once I take the Money we got back from the time in eighty thousand dollars preparation and maintenance contract. If you're working at a plant, you can't hire an operator to work a shift for eighty thousand dollars. You can't hire a class C water plant operator for less than 120 or 30. I'll bet the plant. I don't think any of their guys would come out here routinely or license. Somebody has to be licensed for them to be able to do that. They're working under his license. You can. I mean, that's legal. They can do that. So Jim, the, the 60 days, what is I mean uh, six, six months, what is that? What are we doing in the six months? Well, I, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what, what we did yesterday. Uh, Jerry and Sabrina and I met with the owner Josh and Larry, the uh, head maintenance he, superintendent. I told Larry. Okay. And uh and we had three three objectives. I had out of that meeting, three outcomes I wanted to have. One was I wanted to get the final solution, of the final information, and put the backwards running number two well pump to bed. The other one, I wanted to understand how they're struck, how they were structured a little bit. And number three, I wanted to discuss the weekly meeting and what we expected to, to do in that. And we did all three of those. The you know, what when I confronted him about the date. It occurred when the <laughs> switch over to the new generator that we put in with our grant money after all. That was the date that came in. And uh, 
he took full blame for that, for not finding it when it was started up. And the other, I, the other follow-up item from our meeting that you attended was to put in place a method that Bud's talking about here that would detect a pump that was running backwards or what running. And if you if you call, you know, not to say, well, I don't care what kind of procedure you have as long as you have one that will work. And his proposal was to actually time the flow, and I didn't see him do it, so I'm not really sure how he's doing it. Yet. This their their proposal was to do that, and we show the deal, uh, show the actual flow, and all three of those pumps pump at different rates, and the fact that. We ran three and a half years with the, the second largest capacity pump pumping at 2% of its capacity. Um, didn't alarm me about five days whether I knew whether that was running or not. You know, to me, I, I would, I'd would i be happy with a once a month check with that as back. But this is what they proposed. And they they took them a while to get set up. They didn't, they didn't do it. Then they started out. They have asked it. I don't know if they got they had a guy that was the same guy most of the time. Uh, Who had an ad and they took care of it. Well, they, they have, I don't know what they did or not. 198, it was probably 98, 97. They had 198, 197. I don't know. But, <laughs> but anyway, and, and that's not something, you know, I don't disagree with Bud. That's not something. But nowhere down the road did Bud ever talk to the commission and say, this is not acceptable. He took pictures of it and showed it to everybody else. I took him down there, the superintendent down there, and I said, let's look at this. He saw that and I said, this ain't right, Larry. He, he was embarrassed. He said, it will be right. So I'm expected to go down there next week and I'm going to look at it again. It damn well better be right. So that's what came out of that meeting. Yeah. So the difference between, I'm not being critical, you know, that, this is what I do. I, I, I'm just saying that if somebody's doing something, if your kid's doing something that you don't like, unless you spank his tail or tell them you don't like or something, you probably don't keep doing it. I spanked them on it. Well, okay. I spanked them. Okay. Well, all right. They got a spanking. Did you there. talk to Larry? Larry, Larry was there. He can reverse the fire. No, no, no. He did that. He did that. So I felt, I felt like that I'm not going to have a kid. <laughs> I, I'm just holding out. And basically, what, what I say when I do this is that I'll do this, and, but I, I need to be allowed to do it the way I know how to do it. Yeah. And, and I'm going for you. I mean, I, I, I don't care. I'm going to say one thing. Give me just a minute. You got to understand that what's taking place here is a council that cares about how your money being spent. We may sound like we're arguing back and forth, but we're arguing for what's good for the city of Bell It may sound like a cluster screw, but it's really not. This is good stuff. We just, you know, our tempers get in the way sometimes. But at the end of the day, we have one common goal here, and that's to make the city better. That's correct. So we're where we should agree to table this for six months to see what happens. All right. We have the um Oh, we have a motion. Got a second? All in favor? Aye. No. Abstain. Two no's, abstain. And three yeses. Excuse me. Oh, he said no. Abstain. Yes. Three yeses. Three no's. Two no's. No, I'm changed by it. I'm going to go with it. I'm voting yes. And I hold your foot to the fire. Do it. <laughs> and, and don't let me down. We're going to have two people. We're going to have Doug. Doug, you're going to be with him. Is that what he said? We until the end. 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 Oh, the other guys. I mean, somebody right, guys, let's move on to me. G. Consideration to establish and approval yeah, no, no. a resolution to designate the franchise fees into the road account. We have any discussion? That may be done. 
Any discussion about moving the money from our franchise fees? We're on G. Yeah, we're on G. Any discussion? What is it? It's basically the franchise fee should have gone into the loan account. Oh, oh that's like a lot of shit they've gone on. Oh, yeah. I see the, 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 is that money? Yeah, I just see that stuff in there. We right right. talked about that during that budget in the trash, all that. And the, the account she needs a resolution based on this. Okay. I'll make the note. Got a motion, got a second. There's a second. All in favor? Uh -huh. All right. The next one is consideration, discussion, and approval. Does it designate certain funds from the general fund to be dedicated to the community development, such as construction of the community splash pad? Do we have a discussion? Yes. Okay. Um, basically, so how? well, what is it we unlimited? What's the yeah. My suggestion was 250000 That's a suggestion. Um, what they did is they which unrestricted all of the insurance funds. We started off <laughs> we went into the general fund. We don't actually have the exact total, but we need to be able to build this amount up into a splash pad fund. So, did y'all talk about the community splash pad and the cost? We talked about it a little bit. Yeah, we did. And it's not a carbon stone saying, I got my insurance since a long time. How many of them? It is that we need to restrict funds to start this. It's my suggestion was to do this because I will make sure people are trying to do something for them. We wanted to free that money up right from the from the insurance money, correct? And get it in an account where we can earmark it and it doesn't just disappear. We we'll look right. up six months down the road and we don't have that money anymore. And if we like we earmark it for something for the people out here, what whatever it is. Well, Splash well, pads out. I mean, it could be any it's community. Yeah, well, water tank. Probably not. That's, that's gonna be a drink. Water tanks are drinks. Okay. So okay. I'll make a motion that we do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you can. Some of this insurance money that you have, are, are we putting any of that back into an emergency fund somewhere? I mean, I know that we're going to take some funds out and make put it into the business. Yeah. But you're probably we collected about six hundred fifty thousand dollars in insurance. Right. Um, fifty for this building, fifty for the other. That has to be reimbursed. Um, then I think we have about four hundred thousand left. I think. I think that's about it. About four hundred. So we're not really. So how much are we moving out? That's I guess that's what I'm asking. Are we going to take? All that money and put it in community development. Like you're gonna. Well, I think we need to have some some funds. I don't want them there. Yeah, that's I don't want to step back and we put it. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
You know, I, I, I've sort of Unfortunately, because I mean, your position is two years, my position is two years. I mean, we can't make five year goals. We can't make well, five year plans. Unless we extend the terms of city council and mayor. Oh, you're making it. But you can take it. You can take it. Right. It's difficult to get the next person in the place. Change the food on the brand. We could have a good year. You know, it's kind of like mm -hmm. we are in, you know, if you don't know what the road is, you want to move out. Motion for approval on so strict in the bonds. I'll make the motion. I'll make the motion. Got a second? Sure. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. All, all in favor? Uh, okay, this goes to um, consideration, discussion, approval of a resolution authorizing the utility clerk to determine the application of a tamper fee to water ordinance of 252.1. Sir, guys, we're doing high. Okay, I'm going to do this correct. I'm going to make a law that says we do this. Okay, and then it's supposed to be seconded, and then it's supposed to be discussion. Exactly. We're doing what right now? Yeah. All right. So the whole purpose of doing this for people who don't know, it's like if you get a water line that's broken, don't worry about the tamper fee. Go turn it off. You know, why call out so many innovations to turn it off for you that building? They run it in your wallet. Tamper fee. Yeah. We get a mobile. I'm at mobile. Get a second. I don't even know what I'm doing. This, this right here about uh, tampering the meter. Okay, I, yeah, I'll read it. I mean, I'm making a motion that we do it. We turn it on the fish and we'll do it. You're, uh, you're saying that anybody can go turn their water off. It's an emergency. Yes. I thought we did that a month. <laughs> we, we did, but it was never fun. Oh, okay. But yeah. So we're, we're trying got to a second. Here. Now, I said that was a good Two years ago, we had going to make some paperwork up to date. The right. option was to amend the ordinance to change the definition of tamper, but we, in fact, we worked that around and that it led to a lot of other. So, this resolution authorizes the clerks to have discretion when they didn't have it before, where they can investigate the circumstances and apply the ordinance to the tamper, definition of tampering. So, it amends, it gives guidance. On the record of how the clerk is supposed to apply, whether it really is tampering and in emergency circumstances that just come up, they can consider that the council's given the clerk guidance to determine that it's not because every time they waive a fee or don't charge a fee, that's money that's either coming or not coming into the city. And that financial decision needs to be kind of really clear to keep everyone. To, to, to make the clerk's job easier. So the resolution is the way to provide guidance on the existing order. Okay. So all in favor? Now wait a minute. Go ahead. So that sorry, it's my it's okay. okay. I don't remember when it was exactly, but it wasn't long after we got in the contract with Bad Meters. Okay. The same topic came up. And at that point in time, <clears throat> it was said, and I, I'm not mistaken, I haven't written back there and put it there yet, but it was said property owners have the ability to put a shut off valve between their house and the meter. So if anything ever happens, they don't go in that meter, period. Okay. I did. I went to the expense, I put shut off valve for my. Would you have to call them out to turn the water off? Yes. Can you call them back out to turn the water back Yes. Off? So you had to pay it to turn off and turn on? Uh, same like I did mm -hmm. so many years ago. Now, I mean, but, it's not common to me. Well, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I think what they said that you had a, a grace period or something they would come out and do it for you. Yeah. In fact, uh, I don't remember, you remember. Can you? We did have a period where. That was there was a there was a mass amount of good that I don't know. That, that was the, that situation is outside the guidance provided by the board. Okay. This is just for emergency situations, it's not a tantrum. That's but, it. But that but still yeah, that putting that valve on the property owner side, 
That way they can go and turn that water on and off anytime they want to. But without going into that beer. Because the problem we were having, people saying it was an emergency, they had some reason that they turn that water on and go in that meter and it break the leaves or they do something with the groves. In this situation, the clerk would ask about what happened. That's right. And if it wasn't an emergency, then they had to pay the temperature. It wasn't an emergency. In fact, I thought he was going to bring it up because you know, I'm sure. oh, myself, the residents out here went through this it's expense and time. But those shut off out on their side, as a matter of fact, look at that irrigation line. Well, it's got a leak in it. Look at it this way, Doug. You're never, ever going to get a shrimp from you. Yeah. You're probably well spent, right? So, yeah, that's what I mean. I'll put you in back. So, but I'm just mm -hmm. speaking for the for the homeowners and stuff that did go through the expense. That's why they went through that expense. So, they would never have to worry about it. So, now, now, for those that didn't do it in Tampa and mess up their equipment, we'll have to pay the fees. So, that's the error of that. Number 10, Aaron is not here, so we're going to skip that. Um, the 11, basically, discussion review that's for information to city council members. So we're not going to go and discuss it anymore. This is the next direct questions on this information. This is um, ordinances, whistleblowers policy, conflict of interest policies, things like that that's been presented by city council before. It's just information for the city council packets. Other than that, um, make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Your I, I, before you make a motion, so yeah. since you've got this extra time here, why can't we go back and let's talk about E? Uh, you know, let's see. And let's talk about it. Okay, so, yeah. so basically, city council doesn't know what the city office hours are? No, that's that's not that's not it at all. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll give my part of the discussion on this. I'll make so, my and I've got a second in also a dog. Okay, so um, having only been on council since November, I have noticed that um, a big part of the income from this city is directly proportional and reliable to what goes on in that office. And so I'll tell you guys, just to, I'll be as brief as I can on the story, but I've been on the finance committee in our church for about 15 years. And we went from having 10 people on there, and then we went to eight, and then we went to six, and we went to four, and then we ended up, because of, you know a lot of people left the church and different things, I ended up being the last standing member on the finance committee. That was it. And I was the last standing member on the finance committee, and have been that way for about the last five or six years. It was me, and Arthur's the church secretary. And so there came a time to where uh, there was a, uh, the pastor wanted to buy a van for the church. And um, so he presented, you know, his feedback on why we need to get this van. And I immediately told him, I said, well, van's not a good idea. We need to do it this way. And I told him some things to do. You need to understand there's a lot of liabilities. You have commercial driver's licenses, that and other. So after that was said and done, we didn't get the church van. And then it dawned on me. I said, you know what? I said, I am the only person making a decision here on what's taking place in our church, and that's not right. So I formed a finance committee meeting. I said, I want to have four people on a committee because I do not need to be the sole person that makes decisions as to what does and doesn't happen because I've been wrong before. Whenever you have six people sit here, even though we disagree on some things, we generally come out with a really good deal. So historically, from what I understand, the mayor is pretty much in you know, the hiring, the firing, the setting the office hours, the um, um, staffing. Uh, and so I think that needs to be on council. I think the council needs to determine what the office hours are. The council needs to determine 
who gets hired, who gets fired. The captain is determined when the office is open, when the office is closed, um, because it's just a decision that involves more than one person. Okay, I've got something for you. The city council is not responsible for day to day operations of the city until we vote on it. Yeah, we vote on this one, will be. We vote on this one, will be. That's not how it works. Okay, the city is ran by the mayor. You've got two different styles of city government. You've got a strong mayor. So, this is not a city council ran the city. Then why are we here? Why don't you run the city? Listen to me. I am one. Whole little cities are council ran. If you read your, your handbook, yeah, when you get elected in, it actually discusses the different styles of cities. So the mayor actually handles all of the day day to day policies. The mayor has the right to hire somebody on a part time basis. For somebody to become full time, that's when they come to city council. Then you guys decide on payroll, wages, all that type of stuff. But for day to day operations, it's on me. Well, that's how you have it now. That's how it is all by the state law. Well, I don't okay, right now. If, it, if that's state law, state. then I stand correct. I can give you this. I can give you the administration code. I can give you all of this. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just telling you. This is literally what, what we do. Exactly. That's why, I mean, I understand this is the way it's been done in the past. Okay. The office hours has changed three or four times. It's a shit show. It's a shit show. But guess what? I get to be the leader. I am the mayor. I am the leader. I'm not going to lead you a city charter out there. City charters are adaptable. It says one mayor and three city council. That's what the city charter said for. I've got it in bar and it doesn't say. Really? Go to the city ordinances. Then the one way to actually look at stuff is the Texas Constitution. Our city, that. our little city out here, our city charter, the jury knows just pointed out to one time a long time ago. But our city charter out here states this is a city council run city. That's what it said. The aldermen will run the city. Mm -hmm. That's what it said. The Texas Constitution changes. The Texas government code changes. How do they change? Our, how do they change, Mayberry? You know, we this are is not Mayberry. Mayberry. This is not Mayberry. We are not Mayberry or RFT well, or whatever. I mean, yeah. it, it's like well, when we start yeah. learning the next yeah, show, so we all just try it. Yeah, yeah. No, if we have a city council run a city, mm -hmm. that means every time a day to day operation decision needs to be made, we have to have a council meeting because yeah. you yeah. cannot, if it's a <clears throat> council run city, you cannot have any decision made. Unless there's a majority of the council member here to make the decision. So if we're going to run our city like that, and you've got somebody on the council like myself who's still working a full time job, I sure can't drop everything I'm doing in the middle of the day to come out here for a meeting to make a decision on whether or not we need to hire a part time person or whether or not we need to spend $75 to get this done. That, that's a ridiculous way to run a city. You need to have one person in charge and the city council then make sure that that person is towing the line. That's how it should be run. There's got to be a head to the snake. That's the only way you can get on a calendar. Gary, let me give you a prime example. The computers, okay? The water department is our revenue center. And the test for a mayor or any city official is found within the administration code of Texas. It's called a public service test. Is it good for the citizens? Is it good for the office people? Is it good for us as a whole? If I don't authorize the purchase of computers, we have no revenue. We can't process the information in the city. There's certain things that I have to do before I bring it to you. So you've got to trust me that I'm not going to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff at stores. And if you guys don't trust me, then I'm not in the right position. Same with people on city council. If we can't trust each other to work as a team, we don't need to do this. Well, there's about four thousand dollars worth of cameras sitting on the floor in there. And those things came in prior to me. I get it, but it happened. It did happen, but you can't base you don't what you about it. Yeah, you know, but I mean, you I, can't I base. Those. I mean, if we're going to spend our whole. Political career, whatever, in the past, we're never going to be paid up. 
So from today forward, trust me to do it like that. I, I agree with that. Yeah. But also, there's got to be a limit or a level of trust. So, if I'm not mistaken, this board did a threshold for mayor spending at any single work in the by health. Yes. So, well, I'm going to be a lot of gas when that happens. As far as an emergency situation, because that's our revenue saying you can't get look at it. So you have to trust me to do the right thing. I'm saying spend money wisely. I'm saying it came in here the other day when you said you were going to close the city office. You want to close the city office for the whole okay. month of box. Who said that? You don't. Show me. I didn't say that. I mean, we're not even listening to the opinion. I'm not going to provide a little bit of clarification on this, and a couple of y'all have probably heard this before, but I'm just sort of say it for you know broad purposes. Y'all are right, everyone's right, actually, <laughs> right? I will say on the on the powers issue. That has typically been presented to council and blessed by the council as sort of a general courtesy because it affects overall um, operations of the city. So when I think when Mayor Edmonds was thinking about changing the hours, she changed the hours as was her right because to to adapt to some, whatever the employment reality was. And then at the next meeting, she said, "All right, based upon this, City Council, do y'all agree that we're going to change the hours to X, Y, and Z?" Right. And so that in itself, this that encapsulates a little microcosm of how it kind of works. The city council can obligate the city of Buffalo for $100 million. There's no limit on the power of the city council. The city council effectively has all the power to make the, la the ordinances which guide the city. There's no limit on it legally on what they can do obviously if those are all legal right but there is a practical limitation on what they can do on a day-to-day -day basis so the the way that the structure is for 98 percent well all of the type basics the way that it is is the decisions that are made are either circumscribed by the charter state law or the ordinances and policies enforced by the council. So she can spend up to $50,000, but I really thought that it was raised to 10000 It used to be three, and then it went up to 10. It's five. Okay, well, it's five. And well, that's all we have to right? So it's five. She can spend it, and she should have the ability to spend it. If she needs a ring of paper, she's going to get a ring of paper. She needs a $5,000 computer to make. The gizmo work in there, and if we need it, then she gets it. But remember, the money that she spends is always going to be subject to second guessing. So, on the day to day operations, there is someone who is legally empowered to make that decision. The city council, unless it's a, if it's an emergency, you can do it in a couple hours' notice, but you have to get formed together to make the decision, right? So, her powers are circum the mayor's powers are circumscribed, not Mayor Mitchell, but the mayor's powers. Or circumscribed, but they're very, very broad. They're very broad to handle anything. She can legally <clears throat> open an account with Office Depot and order those rings of paper. She can do that. If we want to do a contract or the next meeting, you want to say, hey, we don't need to do Office Depot. We need to go to Manning's. It's a local, if there even still exists, you know, existence or whatever. And the city council has the authority to adjust whatever agreement the mayor. That's when you to. know what's being done. Well, every city, every the city council can make limitless decisions in a meeting that the public knows about, but the public doesn't need to know about. She doesn't need to have to say, I'm going to go buy a ring of paper, open an account with Doc Sipo. Which also means so, city council and city hall every single day watching what I'm doing because it gets in the way of business. So she could, so the way that it's sort of built up is like, oh, this month, I'm going to call. This this month, look, see, she could say, she could say this this month we need to close every Monday. She, she could do that. I mean, like you do, it, but then the city council would say, could pass it, saying they have to be open on Mondays, right? Like 
but she's at least empowered in the short term. So she's the executive. She's the executive does all the and the are the legislative power, unlimited power to pass stuff with notice to the public so they can come and talk to it. She can make decisions without giving notice to the public because she's been entrusted and has the obligation to do so. But all most of her decisions can eventually be countermanded or limited by the availability of funds or things like that. You could roll her spending down to hundred dollars if you wanted to. I, I wouldn't advise that, but you could. So there's there's gonna be a power. To do so, and I'm just gonna. So I'm, I'm sort of saying, y'all have unlimited power. It is a city. It is right. It is a city council run city? Oh, excuse me. City council That's controls good. the city, but it's run by the mayor. So you know, and I'll. This is the the best example I can do. I was a first year law student, criminal procedure, and we had one of the high up uh, Waco went to Baylor. Waco uh, Police Department guys come in, and he gave the, the nitty gritty on how it really works, and it ended up in he goes enough, and he ended with this story. He goes, "This always happens, and I'm sworn y'all now. You're going to get pulled over, and you're going to get mouthy because you're not going to be doing the, the officer's not going to be doing something according to the procedure, and you're going to tell them, sir, you can't arrest me." And I'm here to tell you, oh, that police officer can arrest you. He has the power to arrest you. The charges may not stay, but he has the authority to arrest you. And you will spend the night in jail, no matter what you say or no matter how right you are on the application. But the power and the authority are two different things. So we can put her in jail? <laughs> the, and I think... Both of y'all have power and both of you have authority. She has broad powers that are circumscribed by authority. And y'all have much broader authority but limited power because the public needs to be involved and it needs to be a deliberative contention with at least four people, right? So y'all have circumscribed power, massive authority. She has massive authority, circumscribed power. And so... I don't know that there needs to be any sort of decision on what name it is, but if there's a specific resolution that the city wants to pass on the hours, pass it. But if a need comes up in, in the moment, it will always be able to be effectively, practically vetoed by the mayor who's running, who's there on a day. She's been there every day. I've called her the best three weeks. So, you know, if I call, if, she, if she's there and she sees a need, she can do it. So she has that lip that that limited, that broad authority, but the limited power, and then it gets handled in the next county. So the semantics of who runs it is one thing, but I do think, you know, and so look, and she's a, it's a new mayor with a new feeling it out. So it, it is what it is. I would, on any sort of broad pronouncement of who, who is the leader, the voters have spoken. Well, Y'all have spoken by a point here, but the voters have spoken. That's the whole thing. Well, so that's it. That's all. That's all I really have is to that. We want to have open. We want to have. We want everything to be open and let the public. But, but it's like the public will know through city council meetings. Open meetings doesn't necessarily mean you get. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say because it's not done. If I'm going to have a meeting with Jim, you're not invited. It's nothing personal. You don't need you there. Let us do what we need to do. But when it comes to communication with these people, I'll give them my cell phone number. I'll tell them where I live. They can come and talk to me anytime. I'm going to work for the best of my ability for this community. You got to trust me on it. Gary, what, what kind of what triggered this? Um, just from, from now, from being in this office, I mean, being in this position from the day I came on board to now, um, it's it's just been there's been uh, no, no continuity, no communication, um, and, and I don't mean to say anything about Barbara, but Barbara did a lot of things that didn't make sense to me at all. And and um, my point is, if if I'm going to serve as a council member, I should have some say so on what goes on out here. And if if I'm not, then I don't need to be. Here. 
I mean, if the mayor's going to run the city, we'll let the mayor run the city. You do have a say so at the council meeting yeah, and in any other meeting that we hold. But, but if, if, if things are happening that we're not getting any input on, and then after the fact, we've got to address that situation, that's exactly what Sherry's talking about. There's been no communication. But see, this is also to why I put in the packet today the whistleblower's policy, who we probably knew about. Of uh, the fraud policy, the conflict of interest policy, the investment policy that the bookkeeper talked about. I hear over and over again from city council members, it's really good. Good. So I'm trying to present you guys with this information and to try to button up some of these policies so we know that we're all. I'm going to give you an example. Um, and we're back to the computers again in the camera. And that was just one particular thing. But, you know, we find out that cameras have been ordered for down at the water plant. And, and and the mayor made the decision to do that. We're going to put cameras to water plant. Um, and so they spent, I don't know what it was, $4,000, $4,500 to do that. So she was with the independent lines of $5,000. But that decision was made, and no one got an opportunity to say, I think that's a good idea. I think that idea is stupid. But when the cameras came in, I got yelled at it. And I wasn't even sworn in. Well, I'm generally saying it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying it. But keep in mind, the mayor has the right to protect the water. Okay, I'm not talking for water, but the mayor does have that right. Well, why are you just going to us in on that? Because number one, that was not my decision. Well, that, that's, 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 in like, that's, that's part of the day to day operations that the mayor has the ability to do because she or he is required to protect that source of water. What if we had some bad guy right now this weekend and throw something into the water? But we have cameras we can catch it. I mean, it's well, a preventive. I can tell you, those cameras are about as you can get on the hands of times. I mean, if a person has a criminal record, you're not going to know who they are. Well, it's, it's I mean, I have cameras in my house. I get it. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool to have them outside. And people see it and they go, oh, I'm not fooling with that. They have cameras. But I mean, that's just discretionary to spend it. So, I mean, that's something that you would probably never have known about if you weren't in the city hall and he was in the city hall. Well, why, why would a mayor not go? Um, what, what do y'all think about this? If you don't like the fact that you're going to give the mayor some latitude to run the city, nor they have money she can spend. Well, that's my second item. Okay. But you've got to give somebody. She's, well, she's been appointed as mayor. She'll be elected as mayor in November because no one else is running against her. Well, she's mayor. Right. So, yeah, so the people of the city have said, we're going to elect you as mayor and you're going to run our city parks. Mm -hmm. Okay. The council is then going to govern the mayor. We're going to watch and see what's going on. No, we're going to see what she's doing. And we address it in our council meeting. We, if you need, if you feel like you need to control the monetary control, the lower the amount of money, she ain't spending your you know, four grievances. Well, that's what's well there. The more she comes. If, she's, if we set her limit to 2000 instead of 5000 when she goes, and it's going to cost 3000 and 2000 Okay? Then she needs to come before the council yeah. and go, we need to have an emergency meeting or whatever. We have to give how many hours notice for an emergency meeting? Mm -hmm. The council yeah. meets. You make that decision. So whole if it's not an emergency, yeah, then, I get then, then we can do that. But it's not our place to restrict the day-to-day -day operations on a to, to make general bills. Just, we can restrict it money-wise. Well, and that does it, you know. And then and then we're good. And that's so that's all we have to do. Talk about the capital going to run the city, all this other stuff. But yeah. If you'll read the second point I have there, that's exactly what that's for. That's fine. So, so let's let's get to the point. Well, my point is, I got this set up, like I told you, in the church, and Audrey and I, we could write a check for any amount of money, period. Well, now I made it to where no one in there, including me, but she can write a check for any amount of money. I get that. Yeah. But she can write a check for a whole lot of money. She can write a check for $5,000. That's a lot of money where I come from. It's yeah. a fair amount of money, but in the Depending on what you're spending on. Cameras? I mean, I can tell you what was fixing to take place on the alarm system. And I said, I'm not signing this check. And, and I know exactly what you're talking about because I don't think we should sign it. There you go. So you see my so the city takes what's the mayor didn't care. No, no. I, 
quick, very good point to you guys for the seven said that they're all on campus, but it was approved by city council. That was crazy. That's crazy amount of money when the cameras that passed me are gone, two hundred dollars piece. I get it. So I mean, you know, it's a, it's a city council. Yeah. So the city. Yeah. Get out the city. Exactly. Getting one. Mm -hmm. What is it? You're in. Uh, Yeah. 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 Emergency over limit, then she's got to be accountable. But whoever's mayor has got to be accountable for that to this council. And there should be some methodology that she uses on the one of the policies. Or do we go down to sign checks? Well, we can't. You know, it's a matter of, I, I kind of know, I can't give her carte blanche to do everything, but I don't want to be involved in all the little minutiae stuff either. We only do so, so where, it, where it's the minutia in and where it's a real significant decision like this stuff. We, we, work, we work hard to make this kind of a, I use the expression Mayberry type city, right? Okay, so what I expect to happen, this is my expectations, is for we we run that down there like a business. Okay. Yeah, that's our income, so we run it like a business. Yeah. And now this point right now, we have two employees, one of them's part-time, one of them's full-time. So we want them to not have to worry about someone having a bad day and coming in there. I don't get mad, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, I'm just general. So we don't want somebody to uh, Don't put you down to city hall every single day. Let these girls work. Well, wait, wait, you get not, let me, not, but you're, you're, you keep saying, you know, we've got a part time employee. Let me talk. Okay, we got a part time employee, we have a full time employee. Okay, I just want them to feel comfortable, okay, with their job and not be feel like they're threatened by one person. Which, as Drew said, what we got to do if something happens to one or two of our employees down here, all we got to do is put it on the agenda. Uh, call a meeting or Jerry, Gary or Jim or anybody in call a meeting, we'll come down here and vote on it and reverse it. Okay. So there is range there in place, right? There's so a, basically, you what you're saying is if I call you, you're going to go back and rehire them even if they were terminated? Absolutely coach? not. Absolutely. Okay. Not. Uh, you walk in, I'm like feeling something or, or well, smoking dope or whatever. No, no I'm not including it. So the mayor has parts of the body that the board is responding and voting the end of the council for reinstating. Right. So, you know, obviously, the picture stealing something that you get tiny for the stuff that you go through the council. And it was pretty bad. Well, we got a whole handbook through. And that's going to be updated again. So we're talking about the fifth time next week. What? We're going to be updating it again next week. I would assume that the update would come to the council. Well, first it's going to be updated and then it's going to come to the council. Oh, yeah. yeah. It won't be implemented, though. There is an employee handbook that's enforceable right now. We're bringing this one up to current codes or current laws. Okay. Because there's a lot of things within the city that's not up to update. It's We're way behind. I, I the Sherry's coming in to try to. Next time, Josh. I have a motion to adjourn this meeting, please. Are you moved? Okay. Where are we going? Yeah, that's a girl. Well, this was a tie. I said, you're not going to allow it. You're not going to allow it. No, I, I say, I say, this is where I'm at. It's kind of like a deal with you, Jim. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, for me, let's, I want to take this. <laughs> and let's just give her a shot. Let's, give me six, she doesn't give me six months. And, yeah, and, and, and then it's not going away. Of course, I have the option to resign. Take the heat over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, why don't the style base $4,700 worth of computers and cameras? It's such an emergency. I did order the computer. 
Camels. But why was it ordered when she was fixing to be gone? I don't know. And then it's hidden and lots of you can't ask me. You no. can't ask the city council because they weren't involved. So this is basically a new point, but they're trying to basically to make it known so it doesn't happen again. There's a lot of things that have happened in the past. We need to learn from them and move on. Uh, I'm so there might be an answer. Yeah. So any more discussion on this? Can I have a motion to adjourn? I want to thank everybody for coming. We go. Let's move on. 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 Let's move on.